Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys my current uh, makeup that I own. Inventory, I guess. I mean, I'm not counting everything, but I guess inventory would be the right word. I don't know. I don't like calling things collections. Uh, I feel really weird about that because I do use my stuff. Someone asked to see this video, which is why I'm making it. I keep my stuff in this Elmer's unit. This one is from Ikea, and this is the six, um, six drawer unit. The top three drawers are more on the shallow side, and then the bottom three are a little bit deeper, so I keep some of my nail polishes there, and makeup wise, I keep all in here. If you guys ever saw my weekly makeup baskets you may remember that all of these were full except for the bottom drawer they were full of makeup but I've been decluttering since last year I got rid of stuff either tossed it out gave it away and then this year I did a massive cleanup I got rid of at least 10 palettes if I'm not mistaken um, just because stuff was expired or I never really used it and I would rather give it to someone else so that they can enjoy it so much more than I did this drawer right here keeps all of my powders complexion anything like that I have my color tattoos over here maybe this is not the best angle because you can't, you can't see. Um, so I have some color tattoos right here. I think I'm missing one of them right now. I think I only have five of them and then I have oh I didn't even notice this. This is the NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer. I can't even remember what I think about this. I'm going to have to try it out and see if it's something I want to keep because quite frankly I've gotten rid of so many things that I'm just not working for my skin tone, my skin type or whatever the reason is. It's just not working for me. I get rid of it. So I got to try this out again because I can't remember what I think about it. The Inglot Dura line. I just got this Spare Mineral Spare Skin. I only have a few concealers here. If you guys ever saw my inventory for concealers, you knew how many I had. I got rid of so many and I only have these plus a couple more that I have in my acrylic, like the everyday makeup unit. This is the eyeshadow base from NYX. Actually, this one should go right here. It's a really good eyeshadow base because it cancels out discoloration. Some eyeshadow primers from e.l.f. I have a NARS Wet n Wild, some Too Faced here. I have foundations right over here. Things are kind of over piling over here. Um, I have a couple samples from NARS. This one's in Cadiz, which I just used in a Get Ready With Me. I like the finish of this, but I also got Tahoe because I wanted to see how it how it would work with my skin. I have Maybelline Better Skin Fit Me, which is my favorite drugstore foundation. I love this thing. I have purchased it a couple, repurchased it a couple of times because I love it. The Infallible Pro Matte. This one right here, I don't reach for quite as much. This is kind of a finicky foundation, so it makes me not want to use it. My Studio Fix is back here. This one I use for special occasions because it's long lasting, great coverage, and it doesn't look heavy or cakey. This one doesn't break me out. This one never used to break me out, and now, um, it's starting to break me out uh, so I may get rid of this one I don't know if my face is no longer tolerating this foundation this is a face and body from Mac this is was my go-to for summer but because it's breaking me out I gotta get rid of it the Milani conceal and perfect I've tried it a couple times I gotta use it a little bit more maybe give you more thoughts on it these two I think are actually gonna go out cuz I'm just they're good good coverage um, and um, and they last on the face. It's just me having to mix. Neither of these matches me really well. And even when I mix them, they're not perfect on my skin. And I'm not about... I, I'm just very low tolerant right now as to having to mix my stuff. I'm not really wanting to do that anymore. I have some primers here. This is the Quick Fix from Urban Decay, which I just got. I gotta try that out. The Too Fix ha Hangover RX. I have some samples from NARS. I went to the NARS. There was a workshop for um, for us, and I went to the NARS um, in Melrose, and they gave us some samples there. Some number seven. This is very mattifying, really great. Then a Smashbox primer which I have not tried. Over here, I have this Nivea Men, which a lot of people say that it's really great, but I get so distracted with the fragrance, I'm just not, I can't pay attention to see if it even works, to be honest with you, because the fragrance is so strong. This is a new Bare Minerals. Um, this is their finishing powder. You guys know I like finishing off my makeup with a little bit of powder, so I thought I would try this out, and this is their holiday one. I got the Golden Tan one. The Josie Marin, this is their Argan Illuminator uh, All Nighter, which is a repurchase for me. Love that. Translucent setting powder from Laura Mercier. You guys will have to let me know what your favorite under eye setting powder. I love this one, but it tends to be a little bit on the drying side. Winter is coming. Haha, 
ah, Game, of Tr Game of Thrones, I didn't even mean to do that. And uh, it's just going to make me a little bit more dry under my eyes. I have a Cody Airspun, and then over here I have more powders. I just love powder. Uh, Body by Pores from Make Cosmetics, Too Faced, Sonia Kashuk, Prep and Prime. These three are HD powders. Um, not this one, but this one is more of an HD powder. This is, has a very similar finish to it as well, so you do get a cast if you take pictures with a flash. Some Lorac. Uh, powder and I have my um, select sheer coverage or select whatever yes select sheer from Mac over here I have blushes single shadows bronzers and although I'm not a big blush person I have a ton of blush still so I have um, some Milani some NARS this is a little mini NARS blush right here and elf one some Maybelline these highlight ones these are more for toppers uh, really nice. My steel a little convertible. This I can put on my lips as well as uh, on my cheeks. And I use this when I do no makeup days. Basically, I just want a little color on my cheeks. This is the Makeup Forever, the Pro Sculpting Duo that has a highlighter and a bronzer. It's really great. It's just that it's really pressed in. The bronzer is really pressed in. I need to use a very dense, small brush. Some Milan. No, these are Rimmel. These used to be old favorites. I need to put them in projects so I can finish them out. Back here, I have these were. These are ancient. I've gone through a couple of these, actually. The Bronzer XL from Milani. I think they're really great. I have a, a Stila uh, bronzer back here. Not my favorite. It's a little bit. It's a little bit too on the purple side. And this one, which I just used in a Get Ready With Me, fantastic favorite highlighter ever, above any highlighter that I've ever used. And then, oh, I forgot, some single shadows. These are Milani's. I have some Inglot Pigments, Sugar Pill Shadow, Urban Decay, Stila, um, Jessie's Girl, some pigments here. I also have the L'Oreal Infallible. I got these two, Makeup Forever Aqua XL. Actually, I have these three right here. These are meant for liners. Um, so I have that. And then here's where I have all my palettes. And these are all um, either Z palettes or pre-made palettes. I've gotten rid of at least 10 palettes this year. I've given them away or I've tossed them out. Um, this is where I have my, my blush. Gosh, it looks so dark in here. And then I have my NARS. A Z palette if you've never seen that they do sell it I believe on their website my makeup forever I have makeup forever shadows here this these came in a palette I want to do an in-depth video just on these because I think they're really great uh, these are new to me from Coastal Scents. I just got this uh, Anastasia Prism palette. Uh, I'm really excited because it's been ages since I've actually bought a palette. So really excited. I have some uh, shadows here, for, I think from MAC. And then I have Inglot in here as well. The um, Comfort Zone from Wet n Wild. Lorac Pro, mm, the Naked palette. Not a biggest fan of that one. The Lorac Gold, I may get rid of that one also. And then Meet Matte Nudes, I think it's great because it has all of these great matte shadows that you can use in conjunction with other other shadows. I also have some um, Morphe palettes, but I don't use them very much. And um, quite frankly, they're really good for the price that you pay for them. These right here, I have three of them. They're good for the price, they're just not the best. All right, here I'm gonna do vlog style. Um, I have my my light on that side, so I have better lighting here. This is where I keep my everyday makeup. These two acrylics. I've done a video of how I organize my everyday makeup. These two acrylics here hold everyday makeup, so I have things that I've used in Get Ready with Me's in here, Project Pan stuff, just so that it doesn't get mixed up with the rest of my stuff and it's easy for me to find it um, so I have just regular old you know mascara lip liner blah 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 I have another Cody Airspun this is the translucent one my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil because I'm trying to finish it out and then I have my MAC Give Me Sun because I love it my primer from Smashbox this is the pore filler which is really nice I have my Tamana palette in here and then this drawer right here though, this one has lip glosses. This is where like more lip products um, continue. So I'll, I'll start with these lip products. These are Maybelline right here. These are L'Oreal. I'm about to get rid of some of my L'Oreal's. Although I really like the colors, I hate 
the smell. They stink so bad. So you can see back there I have some more Maybellines. I would rather get rid of these and just start buying more of these because these are really great. This is uh, Maybelline and Milani make my favorite lipsticks from the drugstore. I have my Miami palette and then my NYX contouring kit. These two are in projects. So this is where I keep all of my lip glosses. And then right here I keep my lip liners, my eyeliners, and then um, just eye products, eye glue, mascara, sharpeners, little tweezer thing, oh, tweezer man thing for threading my mustache, <laughs> my liquid lipsticks. I don't have too many. I'm not a big fan of liquid lipsticks. They're way too drying for me and my lips are already dehydrated. I don't need anything to make them look like prunes more than they already do. These are my chubby pencils. I love these Revlon. These are the color burst ones which are amazing, super comfortable. I have four or five of them I think. And then here, this is my setting spray which I'm still testing out. This is where I have my Milani lipsticks. I love Milani. These are so great. I love them. I have some Lorac lipsticks, some MACs. I don't have very many MAC lipsticks. Lipsticks for me, because they wear off so quickly, I don't buy expensive lipsticks all that much. So a lot of the ones that I purchase are from the drugstore because I'm just going to reapply it anyway. So why spend... I don't see the point of it. These though are really special to me just because they have Selena, the Selena name on them. So... I have two Yves Saint Laurent lipsticks, which are really ancient. I should put them in projects. And then here I have Revlon lipsticks. Um, these are really great. These are their butter ones, I think they're called. What is this called? Color Burst Lip Butters. These are really, really nice. And then a couple of the Too Faced Melted lipsticks, um, which I need to start using again. I have some Rimmel here, um, quite a few of them. I should do lipstick swatches of like each brand. And then my Wet n Wild ones. Up here, I keep this right here. It's from Pop Beauty. I got it in a giveaway at school. Um, a naked um, illuminator. I don't like it on my skin, but I like the packaging and it's really, really pretty. Let me see if I can just show you. That's really pretty. Wonder Woman is right there chilling, guarding my highlighter. These two I use for traveling. Um, eyelash curlers, which I never use because my lashes are already curled. And then this is just my little holder just for random things. Up there I have my, um, this is my Gwen Stefani palette. I don't use it. I, I like it. I've talked about it before in a two weeks one palette. But I do display it because I'm a fan of Gwen Stefani. Some lipsticks and then my little bag that says my little bag of tricks. And then Wolverine is just holding this room down. It's just He's just guarding everything. All right, guys. That's everything. Let me know if there's anything in here that you guys would like to see. Um, I would love to know. Oh, let me show you guys my brushes. Um, these are more for like um, my kit, body painting, and stuff like that. And then here, these shouldn't be here. I'm sorry if the camera is really shaky. These are my eye brushes and then face brushes right here. And there's more brushes for body painting, the um, little jewel stuff for body painting as well. I keep my 90%, 91% alcohol. This is um, Ben I Nose and Scar Wax. I thought I would just show you everything else that I have here. These are my sketching things. Here is where I have my pencils and stuff um, just for sketching and then my face charts and stuff. Whenever I feel inspired, I can create something. So that is my bookshelf right there. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there is anything that you guys want to see, once again, let me know. Or if you guys want me to talk more in depth about everything, let me know. And I will go ahead and do that for you. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one.